All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do a quick speed test on the Intel 600P processor uh, compared to um, the 600P will be running by itself. It's a SSD six by Intel, 240 gigabyte. Um, that's gonna be my C drive right here. Um, I'm gonna run all the tests, uh, four different tests, read and write um, three times, and we'll take the best scores, as well as a 500 megabyte run. Um, next up, we'll have uh, Corsair GT in a RAID 0 with uh, 16 kilobyte cluster sizes. Um, other than that, identical test speed. Uh, drives himself for about three years old. Um, have about five, uh, five terabytes of read and eight terabytes of write on both drives. Um, next up, then we have a Seagate two terabyte uh, USB 3 drive. Um, and just for the, uh, the video, We'll just run this one twice because I'm sure that's going to be the slowest by far. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off with the Intel and see how it does. And it tells you at the top right now it's running a sequen um, sequential read write. Um, it's going to run it three times. So the first score was uh, 1569 megabytes. The next one's 1575. And after that, Looks like we're going to have uh, another 1575. Um, then we'll do an interval of five seconds and move down to um, the next random retest at four kilobytes. Uh, 286.5 megabytes a second. 288. And if I would have ran five or more tests, the scores would get a little bit better as uh, the drive starts getting uh, synchronized properly. but. Uh, for the matters of this video. It's really just a comparison between the two drives, not the overall speed. It's now running uh, sequential read. Um, over the three tests, looks like we averaged out uh, 1177. And then one more random read at four kilobytes. And a score of 34.62 megabytes per second, 35.24, and then uh, finally uh, 35.24 settled in it. All right, we'll come back in just a second. All right, there we go. Um, final scores uh, for write 589, um, 521, 581, and 151 megabytes per second. Um, to the right, you can see I'm running the uh, Corsair GTs, uh, 120 gigabyte in the RAID 0, so 240 gigabyte RAID 0. Um, the drive is actually empty. I just set it back up again. I was uh, thinking about selling them, but then I realized that uh, the list going prices for them is uh, not worth me selling, so I decided to keep. Um, we have our first score that actually looks like it beat out the, uh, the Intel. Of course, this is the 500 megabyte size um, on the one gigabyte size, a uh, different story, and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. All right, um, let's go ahead and, oh, still running, sorry. There it is, 564.5. This is one gigabyte. All right, looks like we're done now. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. SATA 3 Corsair GT RAID 0, 16 kilobyte cluster size, which is uh, what Intel recommends now. Anyways. And quite interesting, uh, a big difference in score where the uh, Intel really didn't change much. Um, some pretty big changes for the, uh, the Corsair drives. All right, we'll move on. See just uh, the final scores of how a uh, external 
USB 3.0 drive compares. All right, so we're just finishing up this uh, final write test right now on the Corsair GT RAID 0s um, SSDs, SATA 3 drive. Um, as you can see from a write perspective, um, the speeds are almost doubled um, for the 600P versus the uh, SATA 3 drives in a RAID, uh, so fairly impressive. Um, the one score that did beat out right here, I want to rerun in the one terabyte size, or one gigabyte size, sorry, um, on both drives. Let's see if it scores any differently. We'll bring it down to two. We'll run this test by itself. So right now we're running the 600P, random read. And we're at a similar speed at 287.5.